Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my designer shoe collection so if you're interested then keep watching. I have been wanting to do this video for a long time and I'm finally surrounded by my shoes. If you could see what's going on around me you would laugh out loud seriously but I have so many to show you so let me just start. I'm going to start with trainers because I have quite a few and they're kind of like staring at me here and they're very bulky so I just want to get rid of them. So I'm going to start with this Dior ones and this is the Dior Fusion sneaker. I have it in black and with blue and white kind of little flowers. They are very pricey for what they are considering that it's a sneaker but it is a kind of a designer piece. I wear them with white dresses, black dresses, jeans jeans, black trousers, whatever. They're really, really versatile and they're really fun. I have never seen anything like them unless it was a ripoff of these, <laughs> but otherwise they are the only ones of that kind that I owe. The great thing about them as well is the box that they came in. I actually have the box because I refused to throw it away. Let me just, let me just get it in. Right, this is the box for these tiny little trainers. I mean, they really do not require a big box like that, but just look what's going on inside. Okay, it just comes with two bags, but look at that. It's grass! Green grass! They're just a lot of fun. Next thing I have is a pair of Chanel trainers. They're still in the box. I do keep quite a lot of designer boxes. Maybe too many, actually. Jay keeps saying that I really don't need any more, but I do keep my shoes in them, and I do keep them sort of as you know, some decoration in a way. And here are my trainers. And I have the grey and white Chanel trainers. They are fantastic. They are, again, so versatile. You can dress them up, dress them down. And I don't know, it's just um, one of those statement pieces that I was happy to invest into. I personally do like to wear trainers very much because I like to be comfortable and so I have another pair here and this is the Valentino Rockstar sneakers and they are the limited edition kind of love love themed ones and they say your eyes are the eyes of a woman in love at the back which is very cute and in front they just have this big heart really really comfortable. These are my favorite trainers out of the designer trainers that I owe. The Valentino sneakers come in lots of different colors and also different materials and designs. So if you're looking for a nice uh, cool trainer then take a look at those. Pretty sure this is my last trainer. Um, I'm calling it a trainer but it's not really. I mean it's the Isabel Marant wedge sneaker. So because she calls them a sneaker I decided to include them into this section. And I have had these for a couple of years now and I am still in love with them. I remember when I was just looking at them and buying them, I showed them to Jay and he was like, no, they look like snow boots, they will make your feet look massive. Then I bought them, I put them on, he was like, yeah, I really like them. So, you know what? They are really, really nice and they just give you a little bit of the lift because they have a platform inside. I really like these, I wear them all season round. Um, unless it's wet outside and that's when I will avoid these but yeah really comfortable and I can literally wear them for hours and hours and hours and my feet do not get tired. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of boots and I'm gonna start with this one from Chanel. So they are just a very dark navy almost black and then they have a Chanel sign on the front. It's that kind of classic um, tweed material that Chanel uses for all their jackets. Um, really comfy. They are more classical than, you know, the other trainers. So I like to wear them with maybe like a blazer or a jacket or even a dress or, you know, a straight trouser. But I do really love them. The other boots I have here are these from Dolce Gabbana. It basically becomes like the color of your skin. Um, and then there is this beautiful black lace at the front. The heel is really nice. It's a block heel, so it is quite comfy and easy to wear. Unfortunately, they do not last very long. Here at the nose and kind of at the front area, they are quite marked. 
I can't just put them on a shelf and admire them, which I do do with some shoes. I usually wear them with dresses, especially if it's a cold day or cold evening, I'm not gonna wear my open shoes, so I would wear these ones. I'm a size 39, by the way, so um, some shoes might look quite big, but I am a 39, which is a 6 uh, UK. Next boots that I have come in this enormous packaging because the boots are very long. This is the Stuart Waitsman um, over the knee boots and yeah they are quite long and they are suede. I went for black. Jay actually gave me this because I kept mourning that I really want them. So yeah, it's much easier to get rid of me that way. They have a tie at the back so they do actually hold on your foot and on your leg rather than, you know, some of the uh, boots like this do slip down. The heel is very comfortable. I really did get my wear out of the shoes. I worn them non-stop last year. I worn them this year as well. Of course, I don't wear them in summer, but spring, winter, autumn, on a dry day, I love wearing the shoes. They look amazing on. They're so, so flattering with a short skirt or a dress. Because they are suede, they do mark, and my heel is a little bit marked, but otherwise, absolutely fantastic shoe. I seriously could not be happier with it. Now, I just have some flats and some heels. And let's go into flats first, and I'm gonna pick this Louis Vuitton um, moccasins, I think that's what you call them. These are just black moccasins, they have really funky sole. And there is the logo design of the Louis Vuitton all over them, little ties here, really soft, really comfortable. Again, so easy to wear and so easy to combine with different things. For me, moccasins are one of those shoes that you should kind of have a pair. So that's why I decided to go for these and I decided to go for black because it's so much easier to wear. Next flats that I have are the Salvatore Ferragamo here. And these are the classic flat shoes. They come with heels as well, but I prefer the flat version. Patent leather. And then there is um, kind of a brown um, bow in front with the logo. Really comfortable. Have had these for years. I can't get enough of these. I don't want to throw them away. And actually, they're in really good condition. So I won't. Next pair of flats I have here is another one from Chanel. And this is, these are the espadrilles. And I have them in leather. They come in canvas as well, which look beautiful too. Really nice summer and spring shoe. I love wearing them with jeans or with white um, trousers, black, whatever. Considering that I had them for maybe more than a year now, I think they still look very good. They do stretch a little bit at the front. You know, you can actually see where my toe sits which, you know, that's what you get with soft leather, but at the same time, what is going on here? But at the same time, it does sit beautifully on the foot and it feels really nice on. A few more flats, and the next one I have is the Charlotte Olympia Kitty Flat, and I went for the black ones with golden little face. I remember me and my friends, we got these shoes when we went or to a Halloween party in London and we were dressed as cats. I mean, it's a, you know, any reason is a good reason to buy yourself a pair of shoes. So that was a good one for me. But yeah, I mean, they're super, super cute. They're made of this beautiful soft black velvet. There is like a shiny golden heel at the back. Not as easy to wear, obviously, because they do have a cat face on them. But I would actually happily wear them right now with what I have on. I have like flared blue jeans and this stripy red top. And yeah, it is one of those kind of designer shoes that, you know, Charlotte Limpia is famous for her kitty shoes and I just wanted a piece of her. Right, we are almost there. I have a few sandals. Um, flat sandals. These are the Chanel ones and they have those camellia flowers in front and I mean it's just a very simple shoe, black leather, then there are these metal camellias, um, flat. I mean not much to say but just a simple summer pretty shoe. And the last flats I have today are these from Chloe. I do still have the box. And these are the suede kind of gladiator 
um, sandals and I love these shoes. I got them last year in June in Milan and I think I worn them every day while I was in Milan for a month. Beautiful rusty orange brown color uh, but yeah I really like them. They usually also have these golden studs on them. Um, just love them. Now it's time for some heels and let's start with the Labutans that I have. I have the classical peep toe um, Labutans black leather red soles obviously I mean you can see I definitely got my wear out of the shoes. These are probably the only Labutan shoes that I have ever tried on and worn that are comfortable and wearable so you can actually walk on these things let me tell you 11 millimeter heel or 10 millimeter the 12 is the highest and then I have the next one down because I do have the tallest one and pretty much the only thing you can do in those is sit but you look beautiful when you sit in them very elegant very sexy I have had them for three years now I think and I yeah, this is like my go-to shoe, you know what I mean? I do reach for them quite a lot. The other pair of Labutans that I have is this one and this is the nude, um, I think it's a Pigalle one and it, they have a black bow at front and there is like a net uh, fabric here as well. This is the 12 millimeter one and as beautiful as this shoe is, it's impossible to walk on it. I mean I did wear them quite a lot but it's mostly like walking to the car, getting into the car, getting being driven to the restaurant, walking to the restaurant, sitting down and that's it. But they just look so good on. You forgive them for everything when you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like damn I look good. Next pair I have is the Valentino Rockstad ones. I went for the white uh, patent leather with a nude kind of lining and then there are the golden studs. These are the most comfortable designer heels that I own. Seriously, I could walk miles on them and I did and I still do. Um, you can see that I do wear them quite a lot but they are still in a beautiful, pretty much immaculate condition. Next pair I have are a pair of mules for, from Stella McCartney and it's a really fun pair of shoes. I did feature them in my summer lookbook. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below. And they have a really interesting heel. It's a wooden heel from the outside and a mirrored one from the inside. The back of them also goes down, so you can either just slip your foot in or you can put it in. Really soft, beautiful leather, but it's actually not leather because Stella McCartney does not use leather um, in her product which is incredible because these shoes are so soft. Next pair I have is a pair of platforms and this is a platform from Jill Sanders and they are gorgeous on. Um, the only problem with the shoes is that these straps that you see here are not the original straps because this thing that was meant to hold on the heel it stretched and it did not hold on the foot anymore at all. So I asked my friend who is an absolute magician and she made these little straps for me that go around my ankle. I absolutely love the shoes. I worn them in my Marks and Spencer's haul. If you have not seen that either, I will link it below as well. And the last pair of heels and of shoes for today I have is the newest addition to my designer shoe family that I have today is this pair of Chanel's that I actually have not even unboxed yet. Beautiful packaging like always. Oh, Camellia. Stick to my head. Maybe not. And the shoes that I have are the slingbacks. I don't know. I find it hard to describe these babies because they're just so perfect. I have so many outfits in my head already that I'm gonna pair them with. There was also a black pair but I decided to go for the nude because I do think it's a very classic color, this uh, nude. And then there is a little golden Chanel sign on the heel. Jay actually did not like the shoes. He said that the heel is the ugliest part of the foot so why would you want to show it off? But who cares? I like them. They like me. 
it's a match made in heaven. Why would I listen to someone who wears trainers all day long? All this beautiful packaging that comes with it, I never want to throw it away. So I might just leave it. The news it is. <laughs> Why are you looking at me weird? Is that I'm mental? I'm not mental. I just like shoes. That was actually it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you want more videos like that. Tell me what was your favorite pair of shoes. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon in my next video.